Greetings and peace to you on this fifth Sunday in Lent, what is traditionally called Passion Week. I hope you're well and in good health, of a sober mind and in spiritual equilibrium. Today, as has been the custom, we will be reciting the morning spiritual lessons from both the old and new offices according to the rubrics for the old office. The hymn Pange Lingua is to be sung, and since I certainly can't do it justice compared to the resources available, I have chosen to provide at the beginning of this video a lovely rendition with both male and female voices with the Latin and English subtext. At the end, please stick around because there will be the a slightly longer version with just the Latin subtext, with just the male voices in a more monastic, contemplative expression. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Here begins the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The words of Jeremiah, son of Helcias, of a priestly family in Anathoth, in the land of Benjamin. The word of the Lord first came to him in the days of Josias, son of Ammon, king of Judah, in the thirteenth year of his reign, and continued through the reign of Joachim, son of Josias, king of Judah, and until the downfall and exile of Jerusalem in the fifth month of the eleventh year of Sedesius, son of Josias, king of Judah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you. A prophet to the nations, I appointed you. Ah, Lord God, I said, I know not how to speak. I am too young. Responsory These are the days that you should keep holy when they come. Fourteen days from now, the pash of the Lord will begin, and on the fifteenth you will celebrate the great solemnity in honor of God Most High. Versicle. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel and tell them, Fourteen days from now the pash of the Lord will begin, and on the fifteenth you will celebrate the great solemnity in honor of God Most High. Continuation of the lesson. But the Lord answered me, Say not, I am too young. To whomever I send you, you shall go. Whatever I command you, you shall speak. Have no fear before them, because I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord extended his hand and touched my mouth, saying, See, I place my words in your mouth. This day I set you over nations and over kingdoms, to root up and to tear down, to destroy and to demolish, to build and to plant. The word of the Lord came to me with the question, What do you see, Jeremiah? I see a branch of the watching tree, I replied. Then the Lord said to me, Well have you seen, for I am watching to fulfill my word. A second time the word of the Lord came to me with the question, What do you see? I see a boiling cauldron, I replied, that appears from the north. And from the north, said the Lord to me, Evil will boil over upon all who dwell in the land. Lo, I am summoning all the kingdoms of the north, says the Lord. Each king shall come and set up his throne at the gateways of Jerusalem, opposite her walls, all around, and opposite all the cities of Judah. 
I will pronounce my sentence against them for all their wickedness in forsaking me and in burning incense to strange gods and adoring their own handiwork. But do you gird your loins, stand up, and tell them all that I command you? Be not crushed on their account, as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass, against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Responsory. How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look, answer me, O Lord, my God. Versicle. Those who trouble me will rejoice if I am overthrown, but I will trust in your kindness. Look, answer me, O Lord, my God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Jewish crowds, Which of you can convict me of sin? If I speak the truth, why do you not believe me? Etc. The word of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A homily of Pope St. Gregory. Ponder, dear brothers, the gentleness of God. He had come to take our sins away, yet he said, Which of you can convict me of sin? He who by his divine power could make sinners just did not disdain to give reasoned proof that he himself was not a sinner. What is added next is indeed Frightening to hear. He who is of God hears the words of God. The reason why you do not hear is that you are not of God. If he who is of God hears the words of God, and he who is not of God cannot hear his words, then let each one ask himself, Do I take the words of God to heart? In this way, he will know to whom he belongs. Truth himself tells us to long for the heavenly homeland, to blunt the desires of the flesh, to pass up the world's glory, to stop seeking after what is not ours, but be generous with what we do have. Responsory. Oh, that my head were a spring of water, my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night for my brother, one who is near to me, has supplanted me. And every friend is guilty of slander against me. Versico. Let their way be dark and slippery, 
with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. And every friend is guilty of slander against me. Oh, that my head were a spring of water, my eyes a fountain of tears, that I might weep day and night, for my brother, one who was near to me, has supplanted me, and every friend is guilty of slander against me. Thus ends the reading from the old office, from the new office. From an Easter letter by St. Athanasius Bishop, keep the coming feast of the Lord through deeds, not words. The word who became all things for us is close to us, our Lord Jesus Christ, who promises to remain with us always. He cries out, saying, See, I am with you all the days of this age. He is himself the shepherd, the high priest, the way and the door, and has become all things at once for us. In the same way, he has come among us as our feast and holy day as well. The blessed apostle says of him who was awaited, Christ has been sacrificed as our Passover. It was Christ who shed his light on the psalmist as he prayed, You are my joy, deliver me from those surrounding me. True joy, genuine festival, means the casting out of wickedness. To achieve this, one must live a life of perfect goodness and, in the serenity of the fear of God, practice contemplation in one's heart. This was the way of the saints who in their lifetime and at every stage of life rejoiced as at a feast. Blessed David, for example, not once but seven times rose at night to win God's favor through prayer. The great Moses was full of joy as he sang God's praises in hymns of victory for the defeat of Pharaoh and the oppressors of the Hebrew people. Others had hearts filled always with gladness as they performed their sacred duty of worship, like the great Samuel and the blessed Elijah. Because of their holy lives, they gained freedom and now keep festival in heaven. They rejoice after their pilgrimage in shadows and now distinguish the reality from the promise. When we celebrate the feast in our own day, what path are we to take? As we draw near to this feast, who is to be our guide? Beloved, it must be none other than the one whom you will address with me as our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, I am the way. As Blessed John tells us, it is Christ who takes away the sins of the world. It is he who purifies our souls. As the prophet Jeremiah says, stand upon the ways, look and see which is the good path and you will find in it the way of amendment for your souls. In former times, the blood of goats and the ashes of a calf were sprinkled on those who were unclean, but they were able to purify only the body. Now, through the grace of God's word, everyone is made abundantly clean. If we follow Christ closely, we shall be allowed, even on this earth, to stand, as it were, on the threshold of the heavenly Jerusalem and enjoy the contemplation of that everlasting feast, like the blessed apostles, who, in following the Savior as their leader, showed, and still show, the way to obtain the same gift from God. They said, See, we have left all things and followed you. We too follow the Lord and we keep his feast by deeds rather than by words. Thus ends the readings. May God bless you, God love you, God's peace to you, 
Please pray for me as I pray for you. And now, a beautiful contemplative rendition of the Pange Lingua. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.